Okay, so I powered up. This calibrate already. Port five. I use a little extension to go through so I can see the status of each one. These are little development boards, not available, but uh, uh, just for the visual right now. I'm gonna calibrate manually all the rest actuators. Uh, like one, two, three, four, six, and seven. Okay, so you can see here when they press the thing to move, it moves everything that you can see the direction, the red, the pulses actually there. So um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the tensioner menu. Alright, so here I'm gonna play with the port 5 so I can show you something. I have it set on continuous at uh, steps 10 so it won't do too much. So here if I press the switch, you can see as long as I press it, it moves the actuator offset of the position. Uh, now it thinks it's in the park position all the time because everything is parked. But I can offset the park position longer. So uh, if uh, I change the port, for example, to number 6, You'll see on a pen switch the six works. If I put on seven, the port seven is assigned automatically. Four, three, two. But of course, if you set to zero, none of these will use the switch, it will be disabled essentially. Okay, so I'm going to put it back to five. Okay, I'm going to run the software, a simple test. Oh, let me see. Uh, sometimes when I use extension cables, oh come on. Uh, okay, so yeah, to use cheap extension cables, it won't work. <laughs> uh, okay, well, that's all I want to show essentially. Um, I can put on standby. So let me get out of there. Go to the first screen. So you can see everything is moving there. And I can insert or subscribe pulses to adjust the belt tensioner position for park. And remember, if you go too much. It will hit the hard stop and then if you keep forcing it, it will fail. A6. It took about seven seconds, not sure. But yeah, the only way to get over this power cycle. Calibrate correctly again. There you are. Alright, thanks for watching.